If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, how is overstimulation related to social anxiety? Answer by John Kyle. Many people with social anxiety are thought to experience overstimulation. Although one could argue that feeling overstimulated is a result of anxiety, it also could be that the overstimulation is actually causing your anxiety. So which came first the overstimulation or the anxiety? In most cases, it will help to take an objective look at your situation. Were you always anxious in social situations or did this result from engaging too much? Many different factors can contribute to feelings of overstimulation including, how often you exercise, sleep patterns, stress from work, and other environmental stressors. Reference, http, slash slash overshiness, com slash social ac, answer by, Barbara Doddridge. I believe we each have a certain limit for optimal functioning within a stimulating setting. Introverts, who have a relatively low tolerance for social stimulation, will fare less well as unfamiliar stimulation is increased, the number of people, new people, new place, noise level, structure of the function, etc. Social anxiety is much less prevalent among extroverts, many of whom thrive on novelty and new social experiences. For these people, increased stimulation evokes a positive, excitatory response. Those prone to social anxiety experience this stimulation as a threat, causing increased anxiety levels, fight, flight or freeze, and even greater avoidance of subsequent social activity. Answer by Alexander Saitsev No, not really. Social anxiety is just excessive fear brought about by what others think of one, or by the fear of social rejection. People with social anxiety don't have any trouble handling sensory stimuli, like one with autism would. It wouldn't be uncommon for people with SAD to be fine listening to loud music, or watching loud TV. If overstimulation was a causative factor in SAD, symptoms would present themselves in many situations that did not involve social situations. 